episode 318. Today, we have a video response for... Dead Center! Dead Center. It's going to be coming at you. Dead Center. So as we're starting this, he goes, you don't want me to do my normal intro? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Anyway, I'm MP Fox. I already said that. And, I'm and I don't know if that's a normal <laughs> intro or not. And we're joined today by Vegemite because yeah. we're not sponsored by Vegemite. No. Hey, Vegemite, if you want to sponsor this episode, just give us a call, okay? Call. Yeah, but it'll be weird because yeah. you won't know that we're having Vegemite on here. And then, anyway, huh? this is because we're doing a video response for Dead Centered. But first, we're going to talk about our video response. Because we have a video response. And what is that? Well, you got to make a commercial for the new channel name. Fox Crew Cards, right? Yeah. Right. Awesome. So we're looking to have a video. So when you make it, um, just you can put a comment anywhere because I look at these comments every day when I have my cup of coffee in the morning. And I try to respond to, uh, I'm trying to respond to 100% of them. But just let us know. We'll go take a look at it. So far, we've got four video responses. And who are they? We got Pepino Man. Who is absolutely hilarious. Check it out. Mama Fox still is giggling. <laughs> we got Six G. Six G did a great one. Collector Holic. Collector Holic dropped one yesterday, I think it was, and we watched it last night when Mama got home from work. And Shaw Racing Collect. And Shaw Racing Collect. So if I've missed anybody, just give me a holler. Well, don't call me because I'm waiting for that call for Vegemite. <laughs> But um, just let us know down below and we'll go take a look at it. The more the merrier. They're a lot of fun. So thank you very much for those of you that took the time to A, watch us, and B, make a video. So thanks. But now, what should we do? Let's get on to... The video response. The video response that we're doing. We're that doing was our little commercial. We're going to yeah. do that before everyone. But it's for Dead Centered. And he's asking three things. And if you don't know Dead Centered, I will... Will put a link below. I know I say that a lot and I know I don't do it, but I will because it's a brand new year and I'm going to try to get good for the brand new name. But it's down there and it's just talking about um, just the community and what we're looking for and just the goodness of the community and people setting stuff back and forth. And plus, you're going to see some really cool Hank Aaron cards if you watch this video. Uh, but he's asking three questions. The first one is not the most valuable, but what are your three favorite cards in your collection? Okay? So we're going to show ours, probably give a little description of them and why they're our favorites. Our three favorite cards change a lot. We've got, in the living room, we've got a couple shelves um, where we keep special cards. Things rotate out of there. So obviously our top three cards came from the shelf, although I think one came from your bedroom today. Yeah, one did one. One came from the bedroom. But why don't you go and start it off, MC? Okay. Uh, well, I don't, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to order this. So I, would, I would say in no particular order. Okay, well, I'm going to order this from my favorite to also my favorite. Perfect. So the first one was actually the newest that I've gotten. I got it last year, like in July-ish or August, as a gift for being good in Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, we bribed our son <laughs> to knock it off yeah. in Columbia, so we got him a Tatis card. <laughs> really? You gonna put that out there? This parenting, great. Well, my number three card, and this is one that you want. This card is probably worth five cents, if even that. Um, you might pay somebody to take this card away from you. But I loved this guy growing up. I loved his name. I don't know if it was growing up, but it's a 1981 Topps card, and I have shown this before. And this is on the shelf around some really cool cards. And anybody that knows anything, which would be none of my friends, um, except the YouTube friends. Um, would know who this is and would go, why is this guy on the shelf? But this is a 1981 Topps Bombo Rivera. I, for some reason, man, I love that guy when I was uh, in junior high and high school. Well, I guess it would be junior high and elementary school. But I love this guy, Bombo Rivera. I think it might have been the name. Him and Hoskin Powell. I love both those guys. But right now, that's my number three card. MC? My number two card... Well, they're not over. But um this card was we were this is you guys will remember if, if you guys watched some of the older videos. Way older. Yeah, way older. Um we did a contest where 
we were asking to see which cards that you thought each of us would like the most out of your collection. And so, I don't remember who it was. It was Eric from Those Back Pages. <laughs> and he showed two slabs, and he actually gave us both of them. Yeah. Can you believe that? That was right away. I'm Not yeah. right away, but wow, what a generous guy. And actually, I've um, messaged Eric quite frequently. Not recently, but I did yesterday, as a matter of fact. He put out a great video with Wander Franco in it, and I had to quick shoot him a text. But anyway, show the card. The card is a... Still one of MC's favorites, and it is still on the shelf. 1980 Tops, Ricky Henderson. Yep. I love that card. Yeah, this is... We've actually got a couple of them now up on the shelf there, but man, I love that one just because of the meaning behind it. Um, the next one does have some meaning also. This actually was suggested also in that contest that we had. But what makes it really, really neat is this man epitomizes what baseball is all about. And he actually, uh, when I was in the restaurant business, he went in the restaurant with the family on several occasions. And he has been a huge part of baseball and a huge part of Tampa Bay Rays lore and baseball and baseball lore. And I just love this card. It's a 1955 Topps uh, Don Zimmer. Absolutely love it. So that's one of my favorite cards at the moment. And my last card that I'm going to show ATM, you. ATM, wasn't it, at the moment? Yeah. Okay, ATM. ATM, one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> this card, you have definitely probably seen if you watch some of the older, but not as old as Ricky Anderson videos. Um, it's in archives. Topps Archive Signature Retired Player Card. And we basically lost our heads when we saw the sheet of paper that it said. We basically did, or you did? We. We did. Because it was it, pretty cool. It's a one of one autograph Ichiro. One of one autograph Ichiro. Yeah, that was a really fun time. Yes. Yep, and that was, man, you were so hot pulling autographs for about a year and a half there. Yeah. It made me sick. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun to watch the joy in his eyes, especially on that one. Yeah. Um, my probably favorite still, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And I first saw it on two separate channels. And I never really was a huge vintage guy. And this got me kind of started loving vintage. And then after this, I started putting together the 70s sets, which this is not even a 70. This is, um, I first saw it on Alex's channel, Bowman 53, and then also Jonathan Cuban Collector. Um, man, it's this Mini Minoso card. And I just absolutely love it. Always have, always will. Um, I probably would want to slab it up, except it is stained in the back there. Um, but it looks great up front. And I love this card. And that's going to be on the shelf probably for a long time. Yeah. That's going to be yours someday. Well, actually, all these are. Yeah. Um, but my all-time favorite card, hands down, period, doesn't matter. There's no price. It is priceless. And there's actually 18 of these out there. Only 18. This is a card... From our very first episode we ever did way back when. Before my beard got white and he grew. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Mick, these are our three favorite cards. Not our most valuable by far, uh, but our three favorite. The next thing that he asked was, um, what do you want to pick up in 2022? What card do you want? And you I, remember? Yep. Okay. I would like to get a autograph. 2022 Tops Wander Franco rookie card. Wow. So we hopefully will pull that in a hobby box. <laughs> Most <laughs> likely. We're not going to be able to afford it. <laughs> no. uh, but wouldn't that be sweet? Yeah. Sweet, sweet in the base there. Um, what I'm looking for this year, and I know I'm going to buy it because I've said I was going to buy it the last two years. And I haven't, and because I'm looking for absolute perfection, and I haven't been able to find it, and I'm just going to bite the bullet and buy one. And it's going to be a Rod Carew rookie card, 1967. About time, I shut up my face. And actually, it's going to be probably not the best shape because I'm just going to put it in the binder with the Rod Carew run. Uh, that's the only card that's missing in the raw cards. And um, someday when we find a sweet slabbed up one, We'll add that to the slab run. Sweeter so than that's what I'm looking for. But right away, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy it. Quit complaining about it. What do you think of that? 
I'm going to quit complaining. Subscribe! Ah, back with self-promotion. Then, um, <laughs> the third question is, what kind of gaps do you have in your uh, PC? Uh, do you have any gaps in your PC? I mean, not really. Not really? So I don't got to buy you any cards this year? That's not what it means. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, as far as gaps, I don't really know. Again, that, that Rod Crew rookie will finish up the the crew base sets, and I'm always picking up crews, uh, buying crew autograph cards when I can. I know I haven't shown a lot of them on here. Maybe I should. Um, we kind of got away from doing those episodes. Look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. Maybe we'll start doing that again if you want to see it. Yeah. Look what I got. It's Fox Crew cards. It's Fox Crew cards. Yeah. Um, but yeah, any Rod Crew stuff, I'm probably, one thing I'm going to try to do when I was watching other people's videos that I haven't done is put together a rainbow and put together a rainbow of Willie Adamas cards <laughs> yeah. for, for this year in his Milwaukee Brewers stuff. So we'll yeah. see. I'll put together something, something fun. I'd like to finish up my uh, 70s set. I'd like to finish up the 71 set. I'd like to actually get some binders and put the 70s. I don't know. There's <laughs> so much stuff to do. Man, I was watching Snoop, and I'm so happy that his office is a complete disaster because... <laughs> Listen to him giggle. What does that have to do with anything? Well, nothing. Just our organization skills sometimes. Anyway, I guess that's what we got. No gaps in yours? No. Really. No? All right. Well, cool. This has been long enough. Yeah. Hey, if you stuck around, thank you so much. Remember, um, I will be linking up Dead Center down below, so check him out. Um, if you want, check out some Vegemite. We tried it on a Just Taste This episode a while back, and I heard it's really good with just regular like cheddar cheese and white bread and Vegemite. So I'll try that. We did it on a cracker. I don't mind it because I've had Marmite in the past. And now we're just beginning to ramble, aren't we? Yeah, I've yep. I, I just been waiting to see how long this will go. Really? You just want to see how long I'll talk? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to wrap it up. Hopefully tonight uh, we're going to do an episode of Just Taste This. Yeah! So we'll see what that's all about. We got our cupboard. We got some stuff in it. He's not going to try any of it tonight. Um, oh, it's not the goldfish. It's not the goldfish episode. So, anyway, just I'm rambling. I'm running out of stuff to say. <laughs> so, till next time. I'm MP Fox. I'm MC Fox. He's gone. I got nothing. Peace.